What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here, OG Fitness. Hey, so in this video, how not to destroy your body when doing judo and BJJ. So I got this idea from uh, a video that I saw on YouTube. I forgot the name of the channel, uh, but I'll, I'll post it below in the description for you guys. Or not the description, but you know, at the bottom there, so that you guys could uh, go check out that video. So it was guy. The name of the video was how I no how jujitsu saved my life, but destroyed my body. So the gentleman went on to talk about his experience, how he took up BJJ, because you know, like it's uh, a lot of people talk about it. It's very popular now at this point. He heard it from Joe Rogan and. After a little while, he decided to take it up. He enjoyed it, of course, and practice and practice. He's a purple belt, did it for about 10 years. And at the end of it all, man, he got busted up. So at this point, he's not even sure if um, if he wants, if he can continue. And he, he's, he's struggling with that because it was something that, that uh, helped him tremendously, like a lot of people, uh, BJJ or Judo or any kind of martial art. But BJJ in particular, because it's really... It's special, guys, you know? Like, I know I've talked a little bit of crap about it, like, in the past. But, you know, uh, we all evolve and we change our minds, right? Like, I've done BJJ for six years, and I'm a blue belt. And I am also a black belt in, in judo. I got my black belt recently. I've been doing judo now for eight years. I probably would have gotten it in five. But then, you know, the whole uh, thing with, um, you know, COVID and all that stuff. So, I want to get into that now. And... It ins this video of his inspired an idea uh, to basically, well, give you guys a little bit of insight how I've been doing it. And I'm still practicing judo. I'm still having a lot of fun. Of course, I've amassed a couple of injuries. And if I knew then what I knew now, obviously, I'd be way better off. But I'll, I'll be doing judo and jujitsu and grappling and all these sports that you would consider very hard on the body and that you can't really do at a, um, as much when you're older. I'll be doing it for a very long time, probably until the day, um, you know. So, okay, so thinking back on how I did it, and having and the conversations that I had with my coach at that time, um, two sessions a week, guys. That's the key. Two sessions a week. Now, what do I mean by two sessions? I mean not more than two hard sessions a week of judo, or BJJ for that matter. Okay, and then the rest of the time you can train more, but you got to go light. You got to go light. You can't go like a maniac. And I know it's hard for beginners uh, because, you know, you get excited and all and you want to win and you're not sure what you're doing and all that. But you got to chill the F out. So two hard sessions a week. That's all your body need, uh, could take, especially especially if you're older. Right. So when I say you're older, like what age do I mean? Well, it's going to vary from person to person. But I'm talking like 25, well, 25 would be the youngest. You know, some people at 25 are already a little bit out of shape and all uh, just because they haven't, you know, done much uh, in their lives and they, they they were never really in shape to begin with. But I would say more like 30, 35, that's when you, you got to chill out, man. So two hard sessions a week is all you all you need to get good. And then you can train many more times if you want, but you got to go light. You got to really, really go light. And that's the key to longevity. And now, and imagine that's in BJJ because in BJJ, there's a lot of twisting and turning and your legs are like all the way here, back here, and you're being twisted in different positions and being pressure passed and all that. So it takes a toll on your, your, your spine, your lower back. Uh, that's what happened to me. And as well, like, you know, you're getting cranked all over the place, so your shoulders and this and that. You got to be careful, man. So going hard, it's a fool's game. Two sessions a week, you can go hard, but you want to space it out as well. So ideally, right, you would want, um, let's say, a hard session on Monday and then another hard session on, I don't know, Friday. But I know sometimes that's that's not always possible, but I try to give it at least a day's rest. When I was doing it, uh, when I started, it was Monday and Wednesdays. Those were the two hard sessions. And after that, I didn't even go on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so I did two sessions for, for, for a long time and I, I, I made very good improvements. Now, if there was more judo classes available, uh, I would have done more. I would have, uh, but knowing what I know now, I would have gone, but I would have taken it very easy. So I'll make another video on how 
taking it easy actually looks. But for now, guys, if you're older and you know you have to give yourself time to recover the body, it's it's a hard sport like BJJ and judo. Judo harder because you're you're falling, right? Whereas BJJ, it's it's not as hard, but it's still it could still be pretty hard on the body. You feel like yeah, you could go, you could go, you know, it's just that. But if you go hard like four or five times a week and all that for months on end, it's just a matter of time before something snaps. And then, yeah, no good. So you want to avoid injuries like uh, like the plague because injuries, they just slow you down, man. And it's discouraging and it sucks. And, yeah, so then you lose, you know, I don't know how many weeks or months depending on what the injury is and how uh, how severe it is. But you don't want to get injured. So not more than two hard sessions a week. That's and that's not even a must. Okay, so two hard sessions a week at most, spaced out, and then you can still train, but you want to take it easy, really easy, light, lighter than you guys think right now, or what you're currently doing, for the most part. Okay, and another thing, two other tips that I want to give you guys is that you want to stretch. You want to be flexible, man. You got to stretch and mobilize your joints. Okay, so you want mobility. Uh, so you want to move your joints in the full range of motion and you want to stretch a lot, a lot. That's going to help you. And then, well, you got to get, you, you got to do some conditioning, man. And what I mean, when I, when I mean conditioning, sorry, not conditioning, you have to get strong, right? So how do you get strong? Well, you got to do resistance training. So you have to be strong. You have to be flexible. So you can focus on those two things, uh, you know, on your own time outside of class and two hard sessions a week at most you know and we're talking older gentlemen here right so like i said uh probably 30 and up you know 25 is a little bit young like to be out of shape but i know it can happen so if you are out of shape then start slow slow and like i said two hard sessions it's not a must but that's maximum okay so i hope that video this video helps guys um if you have any questions put it down below and uh yeah we'll have a conversation about that and i'll um I'll answer your questions like in the comment section or I'll make another video. So that's it for now, guys. See you later. Peace.